Welcome back to Motorcycle Brothers. Today we have a special episode. We're gonna compare a CX-10 2023 versus a CX-9 1999. 25 years of difference. What is difference between one bike versus the other one? Old bike versus new bike. I hope you like it. Comparing 2023 versus 1999, 25 years of difference, the 2023, the top speed is 190 miles per hour versus 175 miles per hour. So it's about uh, 50 miles per hour difference, but uh, trust me, both are super fast. Regarding the horsepower, we have 203 horsepower versus 143 horsepower, and you could say with the mossy exhaust could be between 150 to 160. So we have a difference between 40 to 60 horsepower, which sounds like a lot, especially if you see a 400 with a 60 horsepower, that's the difference between a 2023 and a 1999 bike, about 40 to 60 horsepower. Another difference is the weight. We have 452 pounds versus 445 pounds being the 2023 seven pounds are uh, heavier, but you have to keep in mind that we're talking about 60 horsepower difference. So you need to have a heavy bike in order to compensate for the horsepower. Uh, the last difference that I wanna tell you is the price. We have 17,399 plus destination charges and taxes versus you could get at 1999 uh, or 1998 CX-9, probably between 3,000 to $7,000 depending on the condition and if you can find it. The CX-Line 1999 is a very special bike to me. In fact, it's the bike that gets more attention in social media. So um, this bike has a Moosey exhaust, which is very, uh, is something that Kawasaki owners use a lot, the Moosey exhaust, the sound is amazing. And a very special bike. The first CX-9 was released in 1994, which by the way, I own one of those beautiful bikes, super heavy bike. Uh, I believe it was like uh, 540 um, pounds and uh, probably like 100 pounds heavier than this super fast bike. And, um, and the last CX-9 was uh, in 2003. After that, in 2004, uh, Kawasaki came with the CX-10, which is um, the predecessor of the CX-9. Something else that I want to show you is that if I could change something about this bike, probably will be the dash. Something that I like from, from new bikes is the digital uh, uh, measurement. So that, that will be the only thing I like. The sound uh, the uh, is not too heavy. The, the, the motorcycle is beautiful. Any angle that you see this bike is muscular, okay? Something that I don't like from new bikes is that the, the many motorcycle brands are doing exhaust, minimalist exhaust, very small, and I like big guns. So look at this exhaust, um, Moosey exhaust, and I wanna show you how the sound. Uh... <laughs> What do you think? Beautiful sound. The CX-10 is a beautiful bike. I, I think it's the best motorcycle in Japan. Um, I like the colors, the KRT edition. Um, the, mo the thing that I like the most about this bike is the technology. Everything that, you know, you have a dash, big dash, and you can measure so many things angles and and um, I like that I, you can even download an app to track what you do with your motorcycle on your phone um, one of the things that people change in, a lot in US as soon as they buy a, a racing motorcycle is the exhaust personally I like the size and the the, the way it looks but I'm, I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you I wish it will sound like my CX-9 with the Moosey exhaust 
but overall it's a bike that I enjoy. I currently have like 350 miles on it. I'm still doing the braking period, but soon I'm gonna test it to what the CX-10 is supposed to be. Thank you for watching Motorcycle Brothers old bike versus new bike episode. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and like.